recording in progress so today we discuss about the financial formula so first we discuss how can calculate the emi if principal is loan principal is loan is a 50000 rate of interest is 5% yearly and time for 3 year so how many emi will charge if you have take the loan from any bank with 50000 5% interest or 3 for the 3 year turnover so uh, how can how much how much emi you can pay monthly so be uh, calculate for that we use the pmt formula pmt so pmt formula first the rate so rate but problem is that the rate is the yearly not a monthly so now need to convert in the monthly so but the, we just divide by 12 okay and time also three year need to month so we have multiply by 12 so convert in the month and now pv pv it means percent value so percent value is the 50000 so now if you loan the 50000 rate of interest 5% for the 3 year and pmi is the 1498 rupees right sir but one thing remember every financial formula get the result in the negative so you have applied the abs formula absolute reference abs formula convert to negative to positive okay okay but i don't want to take the loan i want to investment so in the future value in the future i want to 50000 and bank same give the return is the 5% and time is the three year so how much emi will pay that bank give me the fifty thousand rupees after three year with rate of interest five percent okay so the same formula will apply pmt we select the rate divided by 12 for the convert the month and time also multiply by 12 and select not select the pv because we have the FV future value because we got get the 50,000 rupee in future, not a now, right, sir? So we have okay. keep the blank, the PV blank, and select the FV, it means future value, and press the enter. You got the result 12,000, uh, sorry, uh, 1290 rupees. In if you invest monthly, then got the 50,000 in three years but how can prove it okay, this calculation is correct so both our calculation we have checked the manually so first we give the 50,000 the, the principal is the 50,000 and rate of interest is a 5% yearly so we have divided the 12 so um, 12 now we have calculated the interest so after one year total principal plus interest is the 50,208 rupees and we have 498.54 submit after the month so next one is principal is 50,000 minus 49854 right and we have same uh, keep the calculation to 36 months Okay, three year it means thirty six month. So after thirty six, you have check here. Your loan will be finished, right, sir? Okay. You can check here. Okay, thirty six month. The total due is the one four nine eight, and you have submit the one four nine eight, right, sir? okay now check the second calculation so we have uh, we have keep the deposit 1290.21 right and 5% yearly so we have 5% divided by 12 get the monthly interest 
rate and multiply by say so we give the uh, we receive the five five rupees thirty seven paise in as interest so after the month we have principal is the one two nine five right sir and one two nine five again we submit. So one two not one two uh, nine zero point two one, right? So next month my principal is we have plus both of and keep the calculation for thirty six month. You can check here after thirty six month. Is the four nine 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 point five? Uh, what nine four paisa? Some paisa difference because this is a not a nine to uh, one two nine two one because some decimal places also here. So uh, explain to me what's the difference between explain to me what exactly is the difference between both of them. This is the future future payment and yeah, this, this one is, is the regular uh, loan. We have check here. For, for this calculation, so we have received the fifty thousand at one time, and bank charge the interest of the fifty thousand in first month. Okay. Okay. And now we have give we have start the investment and first month we give the give to bank one two nine zero. So bank will be charged only for interest about around of. One two nine zero. So when you have give the more investment, we give the more interest, and now we give the our EMI. So interest will be less every month because my principal will be decreasing every yes. month, and here is my principal is increasing every month, right? Okay, it's clear. So you have you have uh, you have check about that this is the uh, this EMI and this EMI or both are the difference with if it's same calculation because this is the fifty thousand we have received the one time and our interest start in the first month of the fifty thousand but in this case we give the amount only first month is the one two nine zero right sir mm -hmm. so we have. Our in case in our uh, interest will be increasing according to when you have submit the amount. But this is the increase in interest will be decreasing if you submit your EMI. Okay, this is the manual calculation. This is the manual calculation, and this is the correct calculation. And it is a prove it in my formula. I give the correct. Right, sir. Okay. Now, I give the EMI. I give the EMI two thousand every month, and bank give the seven percent interest rate every year, and we give the five year. So how much amount will be received after five year? So we have apply the formula here F V. It means future value, right? Future value. So we have select the rate, rate divided by twelve. Now select the time, time multiply by twelve, and PMT. PMT it means EMI. PMT is the two thousand rupees. So after five year, if we if we have give the two thousand EMI and bank give the seven percent interest rate, get the one lakh forty three thousand. One hundred eighty-five rupees at the national, right? Now I want to not I want to start not to start the EMI. I want to start the FD fixed deposit. So FD presently I have invest fifty thousand. Bank give the five percent, and time is the also five year. So how can how much amount will receive? So we have same apply formula as we. It means future value. Future value. We have select the rate. Rate divided by twelve times. 
time multiplied by 12 and not select the PMT because this is not a EM, 50,000 not a EMI. We have the fixed amount. So we have select the PV, present value. And press the enter. You got, got the result. Ki after 5 years, you got the 64,167. Okay. Now, I, now we have calculated the investment. So, uh, in future, I want to five lakh, uh, 50,000, sorry. In future, I want to receive 50,000 rupees. And bank give the rate is the 5% and time is the time is the 5 year. So, how much amount will invest today than we receive in future 5% invested with 5 year of 50,000. Okay. Okay. So, this 50,000 we have not received today in the future after the 5 year. So, how much now invest for the 50,000 in we will receive on future? So, we have applied here PV, present value, present value. So, we have rate multiplied by 2A, time multiplied by 12 and not PMT is the FB, future value. Oh, sorry, uh, we have missed the formula here. Okay, so now if 38,000 if FD, then after 5 years we'll receive 50,000. Now I want to if I will invest, if I will invest 78,000 and every, yeah. every month I will have 5 no, not every month, it's one time. About. If you invest one time, this is the one time empty, not in them, uh, every month. If you want to calculate every month, then use the FV formula, APMT yeah. formula. Yeah, this formula. Okay. This is the calculating the recurring deposits and this is the calculating the EMI for load. This is the calculating the FD. Okay. Now I want I, I want to time okay, when you my uh, if uh, I have I have invest PV invest fifty thousand okay rate is the seven percent so what is the time what is the time So I want to calculate the time when my money is double if bank give the 7% interest rate. Okay. Is clear, sir? So how much how much time will be taken for double your money, double your uh, rupee uh, investment if bank give the 7% interest rate? Then we apply apply the formula and P E R N P E R. So first select the rate, rate divided by 12, then P M T, we are not a PMT, P the P A V, P V and F V. But you, you get the error. Why? When you apply the NPR and rate formula, so one feature okay, because uh, in future. Financial formula give the every result in the negative. So need to give the one input in negative. So when you give the one input in negative, then got the result. 119 month. But I want to calculate in the year. So we have just divided by 12. So 9.9 .9 year. You can also round it because time every 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 time it is round. Round, comma zero. So ten year. So after ten year, your money is double if you bank. They give the seven percent. Okay. 
Is it that is clear? Sent it to me by uh, yeah, I sent this file. about it. Uh -huh. I, this file okay. is sent to you. And today we finish yeah. the form category formula, right? Okay.